Good evening and welcome back to another video with me, Coffee Guy. Tonight we're going to be playing some World of Warships Legends. We're going to be taking a look at some of the new content that's just dropped in the game from the Godzilla vs King Kong tie-in event. So I'll start by just quickly going through the new content that's available and my thoughts on it. Then we're going to go into some crates. I've got 17 to open for you. Um, and then I'm going to finish up with just a few thoughts on the commanders and possible guilds to go with, with them. Uh, and take a quick look at those camos that you can get in the crates as well, just so you can see if you like the look of them and think they might be something you want to pick up. Um, so the content effectively consists of two new ships, one for Godzilla, one for King Kong, so Heat Ray and Primal respectively. So that's the Heat Ray is the Fuso, Tier 5 Japanese battleship, and the um, Primal is the New Mexico, which is Tier 5 American battleship. So let's take a quick look at the skins for these. I think they look good. I mean, it's pretty good having the Godzilla and King Kong standing on the ship. Obviously, you don't get this in battle, which is a bit of a letdown. Um, but whilst they look good, they do just look okay. I think probably they could have pushed the boat out a little bit more with these. I've heard some interesting themes online about making the Godzilla one look like the ridge of spines on his back going through the water. They do feel a little bit half baked to me, personally, and I think. Whilst as far as premiums go in this game, I think the prices aren't too bad. Personally, they're not good enough to make me want to spend my doubloons on them. But you can also get the two commanders, um, Godzilla and Kong. They come with their own voiceovers to go with these ships. Um, and I will go into some more detail at the end of the video on what their build is in particular. But if you want to buy the big bundle, you can see you also get some special flags and some of those temporary camos, which I'll be taking a look at later. Um, and at 28,450, that is in fitting with general prices. So that's here, it's about 10,000 balloons for tier 5 premium ships and about 5,000 for the two commanders. Considering you get the other stuff in with it, it's not a bad deal, I suppose, um, as far as content in this game goes. So if you really like them, I would consider it. I'm going to jump into some of these crates. I'll put the drop rate up um, on the left there, and you can see. You've got quite a high chance of getting some of those camos, although you're also quite likely to get either promotion orders, global XP, commander XP, um, or even more promotion orders. So the main thing is you're going to get. It's got quite lucky there getting getting the first commander Kong up. Um, but your chances of getting the two commanders are only five percent, uh, and then there's very low chance of getting the two ships right at the bottom. So really, if you want to, if you're looking at these. Um, they're probably best for people who perhaps are a bit earlier on in the game and don't mind getting all of that extra content and who are going to be able to use things like the free XP and the global XP. Um, but if you really want the ships um, in particular, I would strongly suggest just buying the bundle rather than these because the drop rate is quite low and you know, at 1% you could hypothetically go through 100 um, before you would expect to, to get one of them out. So. Um, so that's my kind of thoughts on, on that. Um, I think really as far as containers go, these are okay. They're, they're not the best I've seen because, you know, somebody like me getting Commander XP as a higher chance output there, it's not really that useful. I'm sure I can use promotion orders, um, but I would generally like to see a bit of a higher chance of getting things like the ships or commanders than we have seen in the past. Um, or for some things like premium or uh, doubloons thrown in there. Um, having said that, though, they're not the worst. Uh, they haven't packed it full of silver, which is what they, they did on the last Golden Week ones, um, which straight away uh, made me decide not really to buy very many of them. Um, yeah, as you can see, I, I tend to do quite well on, on promotion orders. Uh, I really haven't done that well on the calories, actually, which I was, I was hoping to get a few of them because I find them quite handy to set up premium camos. So there we go, first 10 crates, um, decided I wanted to go for a few more, see if I could get that second commander. Um, wanted to save a bit of the balloons left for the Admiralty backing, so I decided to buy another two more with the gold that I had left. Um, managed to get one of the Kong camos, and another insignia. She's not actually too bad on the chance rate, although I would have preferred a ship there. Um, so naturally the whale inside me came out and I went for another five. Um, last five here. Starting on global XP, not so bad. Commander XP, disappointing. 
Another Kong set of camo. Take that. And finally, Godzilla. And as if to carry on the trend, get another roll on Kong. Which is a bit frustrating as I'd already spent free accommodation to get him up to the first rank of Legendary, and if I'd known I was going to get him again, I would have waited. Um, but I'll take it. So there we go, that's 17 chests and at a cost of 12,000 doubloons because that first set of 10 you effectively get one free. So considering commanders are about 5,000 a shot and then if you work out that the camera is probably about 750 a go, made my money back easily, got a ton of free promotional orders and insignias on it so I'm happy. But hopefully you can also see there, I mean 17 is quite a few and no ships, um, you get through a lot of promotion orders. So just be willing to get those resources and consumables, it's more likely than getting them than you'll get a commander or a ship. Um, and if you are desperate for the ships, as I said earlier, just probably buy buy the big big selection there. Um, so now that we've been through the crates, giving you an idea of what you're likely to get in them, I figured it's probably helpful to have a quick look at the actual commanders themselves, just to help you figure out maybe whether you like to build or not on them whether you think you could use it. So I'm going to jump straight into the American line um, and onto Kong first. So Kong is very very similar to me as a commander, which is a bit frustrating for more long term players who maybe already upgraded him quite highly because Kong doesn't really offer you a huge amount instead. So instead of Lee's um, skill which reduces your flooding damage, um, you get Battle Axe, which gives you higher average AA damage per second, which on its own, it's not a bad skill, but generally I would say the American battleships aren't that bad in terms of AA fire. So it's it's not like it's going to be a really, really useful skill there. Where it might come in is if you want to use it as a secondary inspiration on somebody else. So if you've got a ship somewhere else that's not doing so well in the AA department, you can upgrade Kong to quite a high level and put him on there. I'm thinking maybe like Grass Bay or something like that. Possibly could be quite useful there. Possibly. Um, but the only other difference here between Kong and Lee is that he gets Tear Off the Wings, which further still uh, increases your AA damage um, and also increases the survivability of your AA mounts. Um, so it could be quite useful against HE spammers, you tend to trash all of your AA mounts, but the thing is, it means that you have to lose crisscross, which I find is really, really useful in my battleships, so I'm kind of in two minds about how useful Kong really is, particularly given the amount of promotion orders that I'll need to put in. Um, but yeah, just to back that up, so you, you do lose, don't let it spill on the, which is that damage, uh, rep damage reload time, and also flood damage. So that's Kong. Let's take a look at Godzilla. Um, only at rank 6, I run out of promotion orders at this point, so I need to go and earn a few more. Um, but you can see that um, his uh, base skill is Horrifying Gaze. Um, now this one increases your spotter duration and decreases the reload time for a spotter. So it is pretty useful in those Japanese battleships, actually, where you, you want to boost that dispersion a little bit. Now. The only other skill that he's got that's different here is he gets an additional slot on your third skill where you can have um, Thick Hide. I forgot what the name of it was there for a minute. So this basically reduces your risk of crashing fire and it increases the amount of HP you can restore by your repair party. And keeping in mind I've only got him at rank 6, you can go up quite a lot higher. This is actually quite a strong skill, there's no negatives there, and particularly these days when you've got so many HE spammers around, I think it could come quite in handy. What makes um, Thick Hide so useful is that unlike Marksman, which is a skill I typically use in that third rank where you do lose a lot of speed to get that dispersion boost, there are no negatives to Thick Hide. Um, and you can easily use insp other inspirations to regain the dispersion that you would have had otherwise. So I think potentially um, Godzilla could be a stronger commander than Takaki, who it's based on. As we can see here, you, his base skill, Phoenix, gives you a bit more uh, heal at repair time, 
but you get that on thick hide anyway so you don't really lose anything um, but you do get a lot of fire resistance coming out of that as well um, so overall my favorite out of those two will probably be Godzilla um, not so sure on Kong yet um, hopefully that is useful for you if figuring out whether to invest the money in these um, and the final thing I like to do before signing off today is just take a look at what those uh, temp camos look like. Now they come in lots of 12. Frustratingly you can only get them in the containers as well. Um, but this is what the uh, Godzilla themed one looks like. It's a nice kind of lightning blue tiger stripe set. And 12 is enough for you to convert that to a permit camo on a ship of your choice. Um, and moving over to the King Kong themed ones, it's quite a nice uh, fiery, larvae looking one. I actually, actually quite like both of these. Um, so yeah, there we have it. Um, to be honest, I think these temp camos are probably as good as the actual um, heat ray and primal ships skins, to be honest. I think they don't look so dissimilar in my opinion. Uh, but there we go. So hopefully that was useful. Um, let me know uh, your thoughts on these containers in the comments below. Um, and I'll see you all around soon. Coffee guy out.